Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And this is my recap for episodes The Aaron Boy and Hannah's T, which will be episodes um five and six of season five. So let's go on and run through the Aaron Boy, Aaron Boy real quick because I really didn't have a lot to say because these two episodes kind of tie in together. So that's why I do two episodes together. Um I'm glad David walked in and seen Justin putting his hands on Jeffrey. I'm so over the abuse that Justin keeps inflicting on Jeffrey. It really, at this point, does not make no sense to me. This is just, it's it's just, it's become too much. And at this point, it's just really crazy to me why Jeffrey is letting this man beat on him like this. And he keeps going on like, oh, I can handle it. Oh, I'm okay. No, you can't handle it. No, you you not okay, and enough is enough. You don't need to be putting your hands on him anymore. And Justin crazy behind going on talking about, well, you ruined my marriage. No, he, he didn't ruin your marriage. You ruined your marriage. He done told you time and time again to go on to go home to your wife. But what did you chose to do? You chose to be up in his face, chasing, stalking after him, worried about who he being friends with. That was your crazy behind fault, not his. This this whole situation just done spiral out of control. And Jeffrey has a way of getting himself and stuff and he can't get himself out of. So hopefully his daddy can get him out of this one. And out of what his mama done done to him too. Because she crazy. Back crap crazy. But anyway, moving on. I'm glad he sat down with David and told him everything. And David just was adamant at this time about no more lies. Telling the truth. Enough lies, Jeffrey. But he told him. So... I believe he'll be all right for a change. So, Veronica finally got Benny back down to the hospital. And she talking to him and whatnot and going on about how, you know, he tell her she got control issues, and but he can't be controlled. And she likes that she can't control him. And she apologized to him about the whole thing about with her marriage and everything and she tell her, you know, she lied. He ain't no little boy, and uh, he is memorable. And she liked what he was doing to her up in that bed, honey, and up in that truck. She liked the them truck rendezvous and all that kind of stuff. And um, she still flirting around with him, messing around with him, and everything. And she told him, you know, she glad he did what he did for her because. A husband and son wouldn't have done it. Girl, don't act like you innocent. You know you've been wreaking havoc on people's lives. You just had your son arrested, recorded him and his love together, and sent the video to the man's wife. Don't act like you know saint. They not coming because they bad people. They not coming because you been mean harassing folks. That's why they not there. Keep it truthful, Veronica. For real. Hashtag Ice Queen. Keep it for real, okay? Veronica want to know what she can do to Benny to, to thank him, honey. Benny needs you on retainer because he's messing around with these crazy Malones. He going to mess around and get himself hurt, end up going to jail, end up in some trouble. He going to need a um, attorney on retainer, especially if he mess around and don't pay for this truck. But what he should have done was tried to get her to get him either his old towing company back I done got my old my old company and my old truck and all. I done tried to find all of that stuff and get all of that stuff back because the bank got it. That's what I done said. See if you can help me get my stuff back. Veronica might know a trick or two that can help you get your stuff back. So that's what I done went with. You you ask she ask you for what you need, honey. You just said this lady life. Mitch done told you. Get your truck back. Don't be fooling with his folks. But no, can't nobody tell your old fast tail butt nothing. But hey, you're going to learn the hard way. So, <laughs> Veronica going to send a Benny to her house. Get her some clothes. Check on the house. Get her a good wig. All this kind of stuff. Like he the errand boy. I'm like, Benny, don't you got a maid and people hired to do this stuff? She claiming, oh, they, they not couple. Uh, I can't trust him to do this, do this, that, and the other. She can trust him. She just wants you to go, but that's okay. She gonna learn about sending people over there to do the maid work. That's why he was he gonna go on over there and and Melissa sitting up there with them little with her little 
stuff on that Jeffrey bought her. And then she gonna tell Benny this lie about she, uh, Jeffrey fiance, and Benny gonna say, that boy gay, he done tried to kiss me. Honey, she didn't know that while she was sitting up there lying. <laughs> yep, he sure did try to come on to Benny. Boom. Surprise. Yep, you you, you didn't know about that one, honey. Thought you knew everything? Mm-hmm. Then Veronica sent her, uh, oh, y'all, sorry. About to kick my camera. Veronica sent up there trying to uh, talk sexy to Jeffrey. And she can't even breathe good, coughing and choking. No, what she better be worried about getting well. Still a jumping bones. That need to be her priority. Brandon still trying to seduce this senator. Man, that I'm not feeling this whole that whole scene. That turned me off for the show. Brandon need to go on and talk to somebody on his level that's already gay. He the senator he know the senator does not know he go gay while he keep creeping around being like disgusting. You just I don't like to see gay guys go for straight dudes. It's, that's not okay with me. Stay on your level with guys that you already know that's gay. Don't be disrespectful. Then um, Erica going over here to this hotel to carry the new girl these clothes. And she going to tell the new girl that Candace not her pimp. Just tell her about these clothes immediately. Then Candace is going to walk up there and hit the girl with the bottle. I'm about through with Candace and this whole pimp deal. She, they need it. It's two of y'all. Y'all bum bitches scared. Band together, Bob Candace inside her head. This this is out of control. While Candace sitting around over there trying to pimp people out, she better be glad she's not going to jail for being no madam while she's sitting, sitting over there. <laughs> I told y'all in one of my other reviews that that man wasn't going to just let her take his wallet and stuff and take all his cars and not report her for doggone robbing and stealing. I told y'all that Candy's so lame. Even I know that I ain't even no robber and no thief. So, you know, a veteran like Candace ought to know that. So, now here she is. She finna have to go to jail for robbery. Ugh, girl. Such an amateur move, Candace. Come on, girl. You knew better. Knew better. And I know, I know Hannah hurt you and made you mad at all. But not to be... Not enough to be making these kind of careless, careless mistakes. Jim still ain't learned his lesson. He's still blackmailing people just like Candace. Now he done blackmail this assistant, the little DA's assistant. Now she over here at his hotel bringing him all the files to this case and whatnot. And then he going to force her into the bed. And he used to, she used to be an escort just like Candace that he used to sleep with because that's how everybody paid for her. Um, school. So now he finally he done found somebody to get his rocks off. Should have known he had a trick in the bag somewhere. Bless her little heart, and she got a fiance and to get married and everything. He just a a scam dog. That's why Catherine done cut off all her money and everything to him. Ugh. See, when Jim was a judge, he got all these hookers off. So he get his rocks off and now he, he using all of them. He keep all these little cards in his pockets to play when he needs some. So any of these girls that don't try to clean up their life and do something better for themselves, he's still holding all these little cards in his pocket about, remember that when I got you off, remember this, remember that. These poor girls can't come up for nothing when they done food with Jim and he was a judge, child. He was just an old nasty Something I wonder what number she was. We know Candace was nine. I wonder what number this this poor girl was when she was a hooker. So Benny gets over to Veronica house and little Miss Hotbox that ain't had no maid <laughs> um uh, entices Benny on into the bed. Veronica getting what she asked for. She wanted the girl to be sexy. Benny finna turn her out. So, this brings us into Hannah's tea. So, let's go on and pick up where we dropped off at. Um, at the end of Aaron Boy, Justin pried open wide door with the crowbar. So, when Hannah's tea come on, they fighting and carrying on walling around the floor. Justin beating up wide. 
GM came in, broke it up. Told him, stay away from his son. Don't come back over there. That's two for two. David done called him. Now Jim done caught him jumping on why he about to lose his job. He finna be a broke boyfriend. <laughs> Jeffrey don't need no dependent boyfriend. David not about to be paying for Justin and Jeffrey. The JJ's to be laid up in his house. <laughs> and Jeffrey done tried to get rid of him anyway. So, anyway, um... After Veronica had her little talk with the officers at the hospital and played like she don't know who ran her off the road or whatever, she uh tried to call Benny to come pick her up. And she can't get a hold to Benny because, honey, Benny Biggs is up in uh Melissa Hotbox. So <laughs> she get a, get a driver to come pick her up and carry her to the house. Thank goodness Mitch there because he running in the fence, go up there to pull uh, Benny up out of Melissa to the, to the fruiter. And would not get Benny dressing back downstairs while Melissa get her set together, and make up a runner bed, and then um he down there still trying to run interference. Veronica don't want Melissa walking around looking sexy. I'm like Melissa, like, that's what you told her to wear or whatnot. So anyway, poor Benny, Benny need to be charging for his services. He talking about uh Candace. He need to be paying for his service. He been kissed by Jeffrey. He been with Veronica. He been with Melissa. He getting around in the family. I mean, you might as well be charging money like Candace at, at this point. So, he up there. Veronica ready. He there. Veronica ready to turn him out. He get out of there. Mitch going to get away with Mitch or whatever. They looking at him at the window or what not. But anyway, David laying behind, getting on my nerves, calling Veronica, wanting Veronica to get Jeffrey out of, the, uh, out of jail. You laying behind David. Veronica, who put him in jail, you think she finna get the boy out unless he say, Mother, I'm never gonna be gay again and I'm gonna marry Melissa and be happily ever after. She don't care. The boy gonna have to sit up in um jail and then um when he seen Candace was in there, he started freaking out again, ready to seem like a canary. If he just shut up, David would be able to get his behind out of jail. But anyway... He'll be all right. He'll get out there. He'll get to go home. They got Candace, Candace and Quita locked up in the same cell, which, honey, you know that was going to lead to some drama because Quita thinks she big and bad and she all tough. And um, Quita's in there acting like she didn't know her brother was crazy, talking about he loved Candace. That's why he hit her sometime. Who in the hell love her till she was stupid because she been bopped aside her head so so much that and and so many times she just that downright just stupid to think somebody love you because they hit you and i'm so tired of in real life women saying that you women y'all have to get together and understand if a man put his hands on you he don't have no respect for you and he doggone sure don't love you so stop saying because he hit you sometimes it's love no baby it's not love it's disrespect he don't love you. He has no respect for you. And you need to get out while you still got your life. And I wish women would hurry and realize that. Anyway, uh, Queen to keep talking crap, talking out the side of her dog on neck, saying stuff about Lil Q, which you know is a no-no. A but she done hauled off and made Candace tear into her, her ass and come as to beat her up. And she done broke her foot off and Quita butt. See, Quita thought she was bad, thought she she could take Candace. Oh, no. Uh, Quita, Quita thought she was thug, nasty, nasty, thug. <laughs> More like <laughs> drug like a dirty rug. Because Candace went in and opened up a can of whoop behind up on... Uh, her behind like ain't nobody never seen before. She tore off in the doggone Quita behind. When I tell you all her frustrations about her son passing away, losing all her money, everything came out from Quita head. Candace was winning, went in and was dropping bows on her like no tomorrow. Do you hear me? Like no tomorrow. But anyway, 
Catherine finally convinced uh, Derek and Hannah to have a little tea at her house, and they talking, and Han Hannah realized Derek ain't the type of person she thought she was. Hannah thinks everybody is player, player. Everybody ain't player, player because they look good. He a decent man, and she may grow to like him at some point. Who knows? Because she said he may be cool after all. But anyway, so that's my round of these two shows. Y'all need to watch them because they was really good. And if you watch the shows, leave me a comment. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next review. And I thank y'all for watching. Bye.